Hello, this is Carlton Collins. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use Excel 2016's 2D maps and 3D mapping tools. First, we'll start out in Sheet 1 with a little bit of information for four different countries. And I'm going to choose Insert, and under the Maps, not the 3D maps, but just the Maps icon, I choose Maps. It throws the data on the map for me. You can see it right there. Very easy. I'm going to make a slight change. I'll include my chart element. I'll put the legend down at the bottom of the page. I'm going to squeeze the map in a little bit more so that it's the same size as my data. And then I'm going to double click and I'll label this 2016 sales by country. That's about all it takes. Control A, Control B to bold that title. And that's pretty much how it looks in the article that I presented. Now let's move on to sheet three. Here I have created a pivot table. And in this pivot table, I'm going to use the 3D mapping capability. In this case, we don't select all the data. We just select the rows of data that we want to map. And then we choose Insert 3D Maps, Open 3D Maps. Now you have to be on the internet to make this happen. And it opens up automatically. You can see it here. Uh, there's my, my 3D mapping tool. Now I've already created. I'm going to delete these so I can recreate them for you. Uh, what, what you see by default is this one scene. And you can see how it's uh, positioned the globe so you can see all of your data. I purposely put China data in, so you'd have to see the other side of the world. I wanted you to, to get a feel for how this uh, tool behaves when you use the entire world. But in this particular case, we can click on the United States. I can even uh, zoom around and zoom in and click on it. And that outlines that particular country and shows us that country data. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to choose New Scene copy scene one and on this one i'm going to back up a little bit i'm going to highlight canada and there we go and then finally i'm going to go to new scene copy scene and on this scene three i'm going to zoom around to china i'll zoom in a little bit i'll click on china and that's all we need to do in this particular case, we have created three different scenes lasting 10 seconds each. And then we can go into the options and indicate what we want each section to do. How long we want, a three second duration, 10 seconds to show the data. We can put an effect in there, a circle. Uh, let's come to the second one here. And we'll make that do something a little different. Let's just make a flyover for a Canada. And then down here, we'll change that so it's not a circle, but it's, uh, let's push it in. And there we go. Now, what we, we, once we've created these scenes, our next option is to create a video. And I'm going to do that for you, even though it takes a couple of minutes to do it. We'll click on Create Video. For expediency, I'm going to choose the Quick Export. I'll put some soundtrack options in. Let's browse for some music. I've got some, let's see what's here. There's a little Steppenwolf. I'll add, apply that as a loop and we'll create. We'll give it a name. Carlton's Tour number three and save. Now this is gonna take uh, 45 seconds or so, but what's gonna happen is it's gonna create a video uh, an animated series of those three scenes lasting 10 seconds each. So it's going to be a 30 second video that zooms in and plays background music. So it, it automatically takes your data and throws it into more professional light. So if you have to demonstrate data to your audience or to your board members, to your client, uh, whoever the audience is, maybe it's a church group, maybe it has to, to do with uh, some organization that you're uh, a supporter of and uh, this allows you to throw the data out to keep the audience interested and show them the data and move on to the next uh, slide, so to speak, or scene. So it's almost done. Now that it's uh, completed, we click the open button. And here it is.
And there you go. So that just gives you the basics of what this tool can do. But the whole idea is that uh, you've heard the adage that a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, an animated video is worth 10,000 words. And what you're trying to do is be that CPA who can take data and put it in motion so it's engaging, so it illustrates the concepts you want to cover, so the audience can better relate to what you're showing them. And this is one tool built into Excel 2016 that might uh, just meet your needs. Thank you.